Have any of you ever made a mistake? Yeah. How about held a grudge? Who has ever regretted holding that grudge? Hello, my name is Matthias Weeb, and I'm in eighth grade. Today I will be talking about a very interesting cycle that happens in everyone's everyday life. I call this cycle the MGR cycle, AKA mistakes, grudges, regrets. Everyone makes mistakes. Some mistakes are bigger than others. Some mistakes require more effort for forgiveness. Some mistakes change the course of our lives, but we never realize how others' mistakes shape our lives, and we won't be able to forgive until we understand that. When I was little, my dad wasn't there for me, and as a kid, that broke my heart. As I got older, I started to realize that if he hadn't have made those mistakes, I wouldn't be who I am today. Today, I consider myself a happy, energetic, passionate person. Now, my dad and I have a better relationship, but if in the past I hadn't have known that if he made a mistake and I held a grudge on him, I would regret it, I wouldn't have be here talking about it today. The best of the best make mistakes, and yes, it's hard to forgive, but do you really want to hold a grudge on someone for the rest of your life? Why? Why do we hold grudges when they're really hard to deal with and most of the time work against what we really want? Why do we hurt ourselves even more? Why is it so hard to move on and let go? Most importantly, how can we move on and let go? Now, there are a few ways to let go. We could acknowledge the problem, figure out what made us hold that certain grudge, because you can never fully fix a problem if you don't understand it. After you understand the problem, it'll make it much easier. It'll still be hard, just not as hard as before. Another thing you could try is sharing your feelings. And now I know this is something a counselor would say, but it's true. Sometimes the best thing to do is to literally let it go and talk out all of your feelings. This may also not fully fix the problem, but at least the situation won't be as tense anymore. A few other things you could try are to switch places, don't dwell on it, take the positive, and accept it. Lastly, and my personal favorite, to forgive. Now many people get confused on this one. To forgive is not to forget. It's just to understand that nobody is perfect and everyone will make mistakes. Out of this list, forgiveness is probably the hardest, especially if the person caused you a lot of hurt and pain. But it's the only one to truly let go of all of the hatred inside of you. When someone hurts us in a certain way, it could be our natural reaction to get back at them in a dark and angry way. In most cases, the person will usually forgive the other person after a matter of time. If we do not forgive the person, the feelings can either turn into revenge or holding a grudge. Yet the person who inflicted harm might not even know that they caused these hurt feelings. The silly part is that with us putting all of this hatred and dark feelings inside of us, it's only hurting us physically, mentally, and emotionally. Furthermore, when holding grudges, you can never forget the incident. You can choose to ignore it with all of your will, but you can never truly and fully forget it. News Health, a website about health issues, states something along the lines of, holding grudges is really bad for you. It stresses you out too much, which hurts your brain. It negatively affects your health and is proven to increase anxiety and frustration. Not only mentally, it may also hurt you physically, including heart disease, high blood pressure, back pains, and headaches. These are all reasons why you should never hold a grudge. Now I'm speaking here today because I truly believe that if you hold a grudge, eventually you will regret it. Yet I do understand why some people might want to hold a grudge. The main reason I believe people would want to hold a grudge will be to not forget what happened. This may also help protect family and friends. Others would much rather forgive and move on for example, the story of Eva Kor. Eva Kor survived the Auschwitz concentration camp in World War II. As children, Eva and her sister were treated and tested like human guinea pigs by the Nazi soldiers. Eva, who is now 81, forgave Oskar Groening, who is 93 and was a Nazi guard. Eva said, I will never understand why anger is preferable to a goodwill gesture. This quote shows that if Eva was able to forgive these horrible crimes, we can forgive other acts of unkindness. It is also unhealthy to hold a grudge because it dampens your mood and makes you more negative as a person. Just because someone made a mistake 
good friend or not, doesn't mean you should go at them in a negative way. If you believe that they deserve a second chance, then give it to them. But like I said before, I truly believe you shouldn't hold a grudge because there are so many negative things holding grudges can do to you and not very many positive. When someone makes a mistake and you hold a grudge on them, it's hard to repair that relationship. Let's say, for example, you're really good friends with someone and want to keep that friendship. When they make a mistake, which I guarantee they will, instead of holding a grudge, work it out. You'll also feel less stressed and won't have a headache. Most importantly, other people's mistakes can shape who you are. And I feel very lucky that even though my dad made many mistakes, I never held a grudge on him. I have no negative feelings towards him on top of the fact that it's my own dad. The point is that when I look back at my short yet meaningful life, I'm happy I never held a grudge because now I have no regrets. Thank you.